Savannah – Hilton Head International Airport IATA, SAVE, ICAO, KSAV, FAA LID, SAVE is a commercial and military use airport in Savannah, Georgia, United States. Owned by the City of Savannah and managed by the Savannah Airport Commission, Savannah – Hilton Head International is located 7 nautical miles, 8 miles 13 kilometers northwest of the Savannah Historic District. Its previous names include Savannah International Airport, Travis Field and Chatham Field. The airport's passenger terminal is directly accessible to Interstate 95 between Savannah and the suburban city of Pooler, Georgia. Savannah – Hilton Head International is the chief commercial airport for Savannah, the coastal empire region of southeast Georgia and the lowcountry of South Carolina, where the resort town of Hilton Head accounts for some 40% of total airport passenger traffic. This airport is included in the National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2011-2015, which categorized it as a primary commercial service airport since it has over 10,000 passenger boardings per year. U.S. Customs facilities are on the field and the airport is part of a foreign trade zone. In 2017, Savannah – Hilton Head International handled a record 2,462,881 commercial airline passengers 1,228,761 in planements and 1,234,120 deplanements, a 12% increase over 2016. It is second only to Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport as Georgia's busiest commercial airport. The airport is patrolled by the Savannah – Hilton Head International Airport Police, who work with the Transportation Security Administration to provide airport security. Savannah – Hilton Head is served by Delta and Delta Connection Carrier Shuttle America, JetBlue, United Airlines, American Airlines, American Eagle, Air Canada, Allegiant Air and Sun Country Airlines. An information counter provides local information regarding tourist attractions in Savannah, Hilton Head, and most other coastal areas of Georgia and southern South Carolina. The airport serves as world headquarters for Gulfstream Aerospace. The Georgia Air National Guard's 165th Airlift Wing is also based at Savannah, Hilton Head International. History The first Savannah Municipal Airport was opened on September 20, 1929, with the inauguration of air service between New York City and Miami by Eastern Air Express. In 1932, a city resolution named the airport Hunter Field. A trolley car was used as the first terminal at Hunter Field in the mid-1930s. In 1940, the U.S. Army Air Corps proposed to take over Hunter Field if a war started. While commercial airlines continued to use Hunter Field, the city decided to build a second municipal airport in response to the increased military presence. The city of Savannah acquired a 600-acre tract near Cherokee Hill, one of the highest elevations in the county, and construction of a new airfield began under a Works Progress Administration project. Three 3,600-foot runways were constructed running north-south, east-west, and northeast-southwest. In 1942, before the completion of this new airfield, the U.S. Army Air Corps decided to take over the new facility and start additional construction to carry out its mission. It named the airfield Chatham Field and used it until the end of World War II as a bomber base and crew training base for B-24 bombers as well as fighter aircraft. In 1948, Chatham Army Airfield was turned over to the Georgia Air National Guard and the airport was renamed Travis Field, in honor of Savannah Native Brigadier General. Robert F. Travis, killed in the crash of a B-29 bomber near Fairfield Sassoon AFB, California, and his brother, Colonel William Travis. To accommodate the airlines, Travis Field received a new control tower and an airline terminal in the former base theater. In 1958, work began on a new airline terminal. In 1962, an additional extension brought the east-west runway's length to 9,000 feet 2,700 meters. The jet age arrived in 1965 when Delta Airlines introduced Douglas DC-9-10 flights. Grumman Aircraft opened a $7.5 million Gulfstream manufacturing plant at Travis in 1967. A new $21 million terminal building was built on the northwest corner of the airport in 1994. A six-gate terminal built in 1960 was replaced in 1994 by the current facility. 
Although the airport had no direct international flights at the time, it was renamed Savannah International Airport in 1983, then Savannah – Hilton Head International Airport in 2003. International service was finally realized in 2017 when Air Canada began seasonal service between Toronto and Savannah. In 1992, the airport had international service with non-stop flights to destinations in the Caribbean and Mexico when Key Airlines was operating a passenger hub in Savannah. Key Airlines also operated non-stop mainline jet service to a number of U.S. cities at this time and from Savannah. According to the Key Airlines system timetable dated October 1, 1992, non-stop services primarily operated with Boeing 727-100 and 727-200 jetliners were being flown from the airport to Antigua Anu, Aruba AUA, Atlanta ATL, Baltimore BWI, Boston BOSS, Cancun CUN, Chicago Midway Airport MDW, Cozumel CZM, Curaçao CUR, Freeport FPO, Montego Bay MBJ, Nassau NAS, New York Newark Airport EWR, Orlando MCO, St. Martin SXM, and St. Thomas STT. In addition to these non-stop flights, one-stop direct service was also flown by the airline from Savannah to St. Croix STX. Key Airlines subsequently experienced financial difficulties and then ceased all flights in 1993. Some 3,680 feet 1 meters from the west end of runway 10 the main east-west runway are two concrete grave markers. A runway extension project placed the runway through a small family plot and the graves of the airport property's two original owners. Because the family did not want to remove and relocate the graves, the markers were placed in the asphalt runway. Runway 10 is thought to be the only airport runway in the United States with marked gravestones in it. Federal law generally prohibits the moving of a grave without the permission of the next of kin. In this case, two graves of the Dotson family, the earliest grave dating back to 1857, were encountered during the construction of the runway. Since the next of kin could not be located, the graves were left undisturbed. Two additional graves are located off the runway surface, the new 275,000 sq feet. Terminal opened in May 1994 with eight gates expandable to 19 gates. The project included new roads, a new aircraft taxiway and parking apron, stormwater ponds, landscaping and a new interchange at I-95 for entry into the airport exit 18A at mile marker 104. Total cost for the project was $68.5 million. It was completed one month ahead of schedule and under budget. It was designed by KBJ Architects. A terminal expansion project was completed in July 2007, adding five departure gates for a total of 15. A $35 million parking garage was completed in October of the same year, which added 1,700 parking spaces and uses an electronic program to alert drivers to the number of available spaces on each garage level. Visitor Information Center There is a Visitor Information Center located near the baggage claim in the airport. The staff can assist guests with finding Georgia and South Carolina attractions, turn-by-turn -turn directions, transportation advice, mailing a package, Georgia lottery sales and sending a fax. The Visitor Information Center offers Tourist brochures Ground transportation needs Directions Area maps Flight information In terminal announcements Post office Copies and faxes Parking and public transportation The airport has three parking lots. The economy parking offers hourly, daily and weekly options for short or long-term parking. The Savannah Value Park provides exclusive parking to residents of the city of Savannah. The long-term, hourly parking area is closest to the airport terminal. The Chatham Area Transit CAT 100X Airport Express to the airport originates at Joe Murray Rivers Jr. Intermodal Transit Center. <laughs> <laughs> Military use 
Also located on the airport is Savannah Air National Guard Base, home to the 165th Airlift Wing of the Georgia Air National Guard. The 165A flies the C-130H Hercules Tactical Airlift Aircraft and, as an Air National Guard unit, is under the operational claimancy of the Air Mobility Command the 165A, including the collocated Georgia ANG Combat Readiness Training Center CRTC, consists of over 310 full-time Active Guard and Reserve AGR and Air Reserve Technician ART personnel, and over 700 additional traditional part-time Air National Guardsmen. Savannah ANGB has over 145 buildings and 239 acres of leased land in the southeast and northeast quadrants of the airport. It is home of the Air Dominance Center. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Facilities and Aircraft. Savannah – Hilton Head International Airport covers an area of 3,650 acres 1,477 hectares at an elevation of 50 feet, 15 meters above mean sea level. It has two runways with concrete surfaces 1028, 9,351 feet, by 150 feet, 2,850 meters by 46 meters 01, 19 to 7002 feet, by 150 feet, 2134 meters by 46 meters for the 12 month period ending June 30, 2012. The airport had 91,324 aircraft operations, an average of 250 per day, 51% general aviation, 24% air taxi, 16% scheduled commercial, and 9% military. At that time there were 125 aircraft based at this airport, 63% single-engine, 15% multi-engine, 9% jet, 6% helicopter, and 6% military. Airlines and destinations Passenger Topic Cargo Topic Airline Market Share Topic Nearby Airfields Topic See also Savannah Air National Guard Base